Well, that's odd. Hmm. It's like a whole new map now. That's weird. The trail didn't go anywhere. Let's see, what do I have now that I didn't have the last time I tried to open this chest? Ow! Stupid hook! Oh, it can't be that easy. The Voodoo Lady's tarot cards? That's it? I bent the fabric of reality for a stupid fortune teller's trick? Okay, that's a pretty good trick. Hopefully these flakes of the future will give La Esponja a sixth sense that'll help keep me from getting into situations like this. What's this? Ah, so that was the shocking dessert. Ouch! All right, Senor Esponja Not So Grande. That's five senses down and one to go. Now, where can I find a really big sound for an after dinner belch? There's only one thing on Flotsam Island that can make a noise like that. Face me 
like a man, you snuff-sniffing land licker! You heard the lady to singe. Guybrush, get out of here and find your own treasure. This one's mine. Ah, the happy Threepwood Pirate Clan. <laughs> Whatever shall I do now? Oh, I know. Oh, clam dip. Ha! I can't believe I ever married a dullard like you. You know, once I cure you of the pox that's making you say all these mean things, you're going to owe me a lot of smoochies. I wouldn't smooch you with his lips, cabin boy. <clears throat> I hate to break up this portrait of domestic bliss, <laughs> but I've got some last-minute adjustments to make to my machinery before preparing the charming Madame Sripwood for her journey into scientific history. Don't worry, Buttercup. Once I get La Esponja Grande into that noisy doohickey, our troubles will be over. Mm, yes. Well, please try to keep it down, no? At least I hope so. So what have you been up to while I've been out trying to save your shapely bacon? I've been swashbuckling and looking for buried treasure, like a real pirate! Okay, I know that's the pox talking, but still... Ouch! Don't worry, Angel... Uh, face. Everything will be okay once I toss La Esponja Grande into that noisy ancient doohickey. Then stop your yakking and get on with it, you gibbering jellyfish! Once I get you cured, we should go break with Chuck out of jail. That spineless goody two boots. Let him rot. Did you hear? The voodoo lady's been playing us for chumps all these years. Arr, I never did trust that scheming sea witch. The sins killed Morgan. He did? Well, maybe the cheese-eating beaker monkey ate so bad after all. <laughs> Chill out. I've got this. <sighs> hey, the whinge. That's the singe. Whatever. You'll pay for what you did to Morgan, you fiend. I already did pay for her services. A big sack of silver, as I recall. Not for that, for killing her! <laughs> Pirates and pirate hunters. Your kind always seem to meet an early demise. Good riddance. I saw you run out of the lab after you murdered her! Of course I ran out of my lab. There was blood all over the floor instead of being packed neatly in vials where it belonged. I still think you murdered Morgan. Ooh, the mighty pirate thinks I murdered his friend. However, will I live with the shame? What's my hand doing up there on that turban? Your hand is nobly sacrificing the last dribs and drabs of its wondrous box to supply me with enough death-defying jus de vie to keep me intact until I spread your wife's box across the sea. That little fellow looks horrible. Sadly, yes. I suspect he will not survive. Oh well, fellow jus de vie. So, why a turban? Shouldn't you have a beret or some other French chapeau? French? Whatever gave you the ridiculous idea that I'm French? But, um, I mean, I just kind of assumed... <laughs> Why, it's the nerve of some people. <laughs> what are you doing to the wind control device? It sounds like it's about to explode. I'm so glad you asked. You see, using my ambient Arctic chronoton in conjunction with my ophthalmologoscope to seek out a resonant frequency with the Vigalian climatophone, I hope to anatomize living tissue on a macroscopic basis. Duh. Could you run through the purpose of all this machinery again? Messiah, I'm going to use this machine to make that machine smash people into a fine powder. Oh. Hey, that's not very nice. All right, Destrange, you've got me where you want me. Now let my wife go. You? <laughs> I don't want you and your pathetically pox-free body anymore. <laughs> your wife, on the other hand, is teeming with this special Threepwood strand of the pox I need to create more of my jus de vie. Uh, let me get this straight. You don't want me anymore? Not in the slightest. <laughs> It's your wife's juicy strain of the pox that fuels my scientific longings now. I've got your juicy strain right here, bucko. Hmm. Oh, what the... 
sweet. Oh, shiny. What's this? An airborne peripheral? Hey, give that back! <laughs> and risk tainting my moment of triumph with your tedious voodoo, Falderal. <laughs> I don't think so. Moment of triumph? <laughs> oui. Using my Arpsychronaton, I have discovered the unique harmonic frequency that allows me to pulverize matter into a fine powder and spread it across the seas. <laughs> Observe! It's me, Guybrush Streetwood, Mighty Pirate. First of all, thanks. That thing was really starting to scrape my scab. Second, you're crazy if you think you're gonna get me in there. Okay, crazier. You? <laughs> I don't want you. <laughs> it's your wife's molecules I need to smear across the seas. I'd like to see you try, you wuss. Why her? Because of her pox, you dolt. She's got the same unique strain of the pox that you once had. The same one that was flowing through your amazing hand. The same one that I've distilled into my amazing jus de vie. Lofty! Unfortunately, a single hand can only provide enough of this ripwood strain to produce a few meager drums of my jus de vie. Even if I were to drain your beloved to the bone, I would only gain a few piddling firkins of the juice. I'll give you some piddling firkins? No. If I want a perpetual strain of the jus de vie, Every pirate in the world must be exposed to the Sweepwood strain. Now, Madame Sweepwood, if you'll hold still for a moment, I'll try to make this as painless as possible. How nice. But I won't. Oh, oh. <laughs> Behold the power of the Judevi. Hey, Vu! What? No. Hey! <sighs> what in the world? Oh, shoot! Hey, the monkey! What? You look like you've got your hands, um, handful. Why don't you let me hold on to that sponge for a minute? What sort of idiot do you take me for, Streepwood? Is that a trick question? Once you're done pulverizing my wife, any chance I could get my hands on some of that jus de vie? Arr! Nothing personal, honey. It's just that you look kind of done for, and invulnerability could come in really handy in my line of work. I'll show you who's done for! <laughs> Ugh, what now? My cabin! No! You, you! Oh, get away from me, you nasty little pest! No! What's the matter with him? Without my hand to supply him with more jus de vie, all those wounds you've been inflicting are starting to catch up with him! Ugh. Ugh. Get back here, you naughty little hand! <laughs> Aha! I have you now, my pretty. <laughs> nice one, Hand. Care to help me with these locks? I guess that was a little too much to ask. At least I've got the sponge back, though. That was a little anticlimactic. Whoa! Now that's an Esponja Grande! But how will I use it to cure... Oh, right! The wind!
Guybrush? Elaine, are you all right? I... I think so. But how did I get here and why does my mouth taste like coleslaw? It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we figure out how to get out of these stupid clamshells. Leave everything to me, my friends. LeChuck, my new best pal. How'd you get out of jail? Oh, the guard was more than happy to release me once I convinced him that it was the only way to win Elaine's hand in unholy matrimony. Wait, unholy what? Unholy this! Guybrush! Elaine? Guybrush! Lechuck! Ha! <laughs> this name shouting is jolly good fun! Is that you, Mother? I washed my hands. I knew it all along. With or without all that voodoo, you're still nothing but an evil sack of scum. Correction, my sweet. I'm an evil sack of scum who's about to plunder the grandest treasure in all creation. But I'd be willing to share my booty if you catch me drift. What? Oh, come now, my love. You can't deny what we've shared these past few weeks. The chummy camaraderie, the kind words, the stolen glances. I know you've developed feelings for me. Join me as my demon bride, and together we'll lay a bloody siege to the very heart of voodoo itself! Go to hell, the Chuck. Well, you can't say I didn't try. Looks like we'll be doing this with all that voodoo. Elaine? Um, do me a favor. Ah! That be the stuff! Anything. Kick is two-faced, but for me. From melee to monkey and all the islands in between, my love. <laughs> Aren't you dead yet? I've got wedding plans to make. <sighs> Out of respect for the newly deceased, I feel I should point out that you wave your sword like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a pox-infected undead cow. Ha 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 ha!